in this video you will see the effect of uh, ideal bandpass filter when white noise is passed through it so if uh, white noise is passed through ideal bandpass filter you will get narrow band noise so this is the characteristic of the bandpass filter so to get the uh, PSD of narrow band uh, noise you need to multiply PSD of white noise with the mod HF square so this is the HF graph if you do the square you will get one only so if you multiply this with SWF you will get the graph you will get here you will get the same graph like this because uh, here zero value is there so you will not get uh, you will get zero in multiplication and here one is there so you will get here n naught by 2 here n naught by 2 so the graph of narrow band, um, PSD of narrow band noise is like this <coughs> n naught by 2 n naught by 2 and this is the, this is the frequency spectrum uh, or the bandwidth now what is the power of the narrow band noise power uh, can be calculated by finding the area of, of this one and this one because other area is zero so this area is n naught by 2 into this bandwidth is 2b so n naught by 2 into 2b that is equal to n naught b n naught b and this is also n naught b so n naught b plus n naught b is 2 n naught b so the power is equal to 2 n naught b now what mathematical representation for the narrow band noise is nt is equal to nit cos omega ct minus nqt sin omega ct nit is in phase component of nt and nqt is quadrature phase component of nt let us obtain nit and nqt <coughs> if you are want to obtain nit and nqt you have to multiply nt by 2 cos omega ct and pass it through low pass filter you will get in phase component uh, multiply nt that is narrow band noise with minus 2 sin omega ct pass it through low pass filter you will get quadrature component now uh, what is the characteristic of this low pass filter the characteristic of this low pass filter is like this now uh, nit is nothing but the low pass filter in uh, uh, nt into 2 pass omega ct uh, on which low pass filter is applied so here nt into uh, 2 pass omega ct on which low pass filter is applied nqt is nt into minus 2 sin omega ct on which low pass filter is applied so let us obtain the psd of nt into 2 cos omega ct if you know the psd of nt which is snt snf then psd of nt into 2 cos omega ct is a square that is 2 square by 4 sn f plus fc plus sn f minus fc and psd of nt minus 2 cos sin omega ct is minus 2 square by 4 sn f plus fc plus sn f minus fc so both these psds are same <coughs> so up till now we got the psd here psd here at these points are similar and to obtain the PSD of in phase and out quadrature phase components, we have to multiply this PSD with mod HF square. So PSD of NT into 2 cos omega ct is equal to SN F plus FC plus SN F minus FC. Both are similar. So how to draw it? So we have SN F like this. SN F plus FC is you have to add subtract minus FC from all these components. So you will get the graph like this. For example, here minus FC is there, so minus FC minus FC is minus 2 FC. For plotting SN of F minus FC, you have to add FC here. So you will get here 2 FC plus B. So the graph will go up, uh, up um, uh, in advance or it will go towards positive axis. So this is 2 FC plus minus B, 2 FC, 2 FC plus B. So, uh, if you add these two graphs, you will get n naught uh, here. You will get n naught by two plus n naught by two is equal to n naught. This part is there and this part is there. So the addition is like this. This is the addition. Why we need? Because this uh, the power spectral density is addition of S n of f plus f c plus S n of f minus f c. So you got the power spectral density here for these points. Now 
if you multiply this power spectral density with the power spectral density of mod hf square that is the low pass filter so you will get the power spectral density for this part only <coughs> why because the hf square is present here only hf square is not present here so the psd of in phase and quadrature phase component is like this because if you multiply this with with a low pass filter hf then you will get the psd of in phase and quadrature phase component so what is the power of in phase and quadrature phase components power is n not into 2b so 2n not b So let us comment on the on some points that in phase and quadrature phase component have same PSD. So this is the PSD of in phase and quadrature phase components. Then PSD of narrow band noise represent band pass spectrum. PSD of narrow band, band noise is here. So this is the PSD of narrow band noise, which is band which has band pass uh, structure. But its in phase and quadrature phase components have which spectrum? Uh, will re, uh, they represent the low pass spectrum so this is low pass spectrum then uh, uh, it, what uh, that narrow band noise is also zero mean uh, random process because um, white noise is a zero mean so uh, so here the thing is that here white noise is there and here narrow band noise is right there so if it is uh, zero mean it is also zero mean and if it is wide sense stationary random process it is also wide sense stationary random process now what is the power of uh, narrow band noise power of narrow band noise is n uh, 2 n not b power of narrow band, uh, band noise is 2 and not b. What is the power of, of its in phase and quadrature phase components? So, power of its in phase and quadrature phase components is also 2 and not b. 2 and not b. That means power of the uh, narrow band noise and and power in its in phase and quadrature phase components is same. The envelope of narrow band noise follows a relay a relay. A relay distribution okay and uh, as we know that white noise is this power is equal to zero similarly narrow band noise in phase it's in phase and quadrature phase components will have pc power equal to zero